to Jim Plaid Elementary. There's so much we want to show you, and we're just really excited to have you here. This is a really impressive and creative way of having a Black History Month role. Can you tell us Thank how it you. came about? Yes, it did because we had a lot of students who actually approached us asking about books in the library, different resources. We're really trying to make um, more of an effort to highlight a lot of different cultures because Jim Plain is growing rapidly. So we wanted to make sure that our students who are walking through the door can see themselves in our classrooms, in our building, in our hallways, um, and have the resources they need to just really learn about black history and about any history um, that's available to them. So, It's yes. such a great representation. <laughs> I mean, we were remarking on the generational piece, right? You have everyone from Jay-Z to Michelle Nichols from Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just amazing. It's a variety. It is. Yeah. No, it's, it's very interactive as very well. Creative. That QR code, once they scan it, will open up resources for them. I've never seen it presented like that before. It's really intriguing. <laughs> My favorite part is about the that you can get like really strong and you can and yeah. We were doing relay races, gaga ball, and then some soccer. Um, what I like most about PE is that you get um, a lot of energy out, and <laughs> since you get to run a lot, you get to do all that. So. Awesome! Looks like you guys are having fun. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Mrs. Collar's classroom is full of life, full of love. Um, a lot of kids in there who are working so hard. What I love about it is not only does she celebrate them, she has them celebrate one another. So it's a really special classroom because they just celebrate each other's growth. Good. Hi. Hello, good afternoon. Yay, we're here. Hello. Wow. Hi. How's everybody? This is our we're fabulous good, second good. grade class, and we are working on our poetry unit. And yesterday we went outside into the grassy area, and we were given certain words, and we had to use those words in very descriptive sentences in our poems. Can you just read me that first sentence? Because I just read that, and it made my heart so happy. What does that first sentence say? Um, these poems reminded me of the world. Of the world. So sweet. So my friend over there, I love what he said. He said that um, he made a connection about our earth and how much beauty there was in it. I love that. Uh, we've had other friends make connections such as uh, how it, the earth was, it would make us sometimes sweaty. And I said that poetry brings out a lot of emotions in us. It doesn't always need to be beautiful. So how many of you guys had like the sweaty reaction, right? Your body was feeling sweaty. Yeah, so it, it elicited that. But they've been making really great connections and their drawings are just representing again, either what they saw or the mental image that it produced. Oh, and we have to show our gratitude to our cameraman. <laughs> We're just here to see the amazing work you're doing. It looks like you guys are working on something in groups. So we may come around and just ask you what you're doing. We're excited to see. We each got a paragraph and okay. we read it and now we're having to write a summary about oh, what yeah. we learned. Yeah. And we're gonna present it in yeah, front of yeah. the class. So. That's terrific. so can you teach me something about President Roosevelt? Well, yeah, it's kind of neat, but he was elected four times and yes. then afterwards yes. they had to make the 22nd Amendment oh. to say that you can only be president for two terms. Yes. What's one interesting fact that you learned? He actually made alphabet soup. He made alphabet soup? <laughs> that is very interesting. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. Thank you for teaching me something today. We're in a science unit called Properties of Matter, so they're learning about mixtures and solutions right now. So what we're doing is we're putting different kinds of sugar in water and stirring it to see what would happen. So they make a prediction first, kind of based on their background knowledge of cooking and things like that, and then they go ahead and actually give it a try and see which of the sugars act differently. Okay, she dumped it in. You want to mix it? Oh. Yeah, what, what happened to the water? It just turned like foggy. It, it looks very cloudy, right? Foggy. Did it match your prediction? Did it, did it dissolve? So which one is this? So here at Jim Plain, we aspire to be a safe and loving community that empowers students to be lifelong learners who positively contribute to the world. Bye guys. Thank you.